Hello, I'm John Brace and this is the second part of my videos about local politics on Medstad and on Will. Uh, one thing I'll be talking about today is the Bam Nuttall contract. You may not have heard of Bam Nuttall, but they replaced uh, Colas. If I went into the whole Colas saga and the senior officers that were suspended and paid oodles of money because World Council didn't quite get it right, well, I'd probably use up all the tape on this camera. But anyway, going back to Bam Nuttall, in, ooh, must have been 2014, World Council signed up to a contract with them, and the contract's called, let's see, the Highway Services contract, so for instance, stuff to do with roadworks. Anything I think over a certain amount to do with traffic lights is someone else's responsibility, but I've scanned in the first bit of the contract, which is here. See, that's the bit I've scanned in, but it's an absolutely massive contract. This is the next bit, the bit, not the whole lesson bit. Then there's this, that makes up the contract. I have asked Will Council not to give me things on paper and save the planet, not cut down so many trees and give them to me on CD, but Will Council always seem to prefer paper. Anyway, the other thing that I'll be writing about in the near future is that this is uh, some of the invoices I got during the audit uh, for various things. For instance, this one is an invoice for £7,389.50 for the Moscow Ballet just during Giselle at the Floor Pavilion. Now, you may well say, well, what's the point in getting an invoice for that? Well, the taxpayer actually subsidises the Floor Pavilion to a large amount of money. So, whereas, for instance, World Council sees closing down and Dell School as a priority because they say they don't have the money, they do have the money to be subsidising the tickets of rich people going to see the ballet at the Floor Pavilion. Okay, I could look up the amount later. The other thing I was going to talk about is Liverpool City Region Combined Authority. Now, this was of course only set up in the recent past and has marred itself in all kinds of controversy over the devolution deal Price, prize, all that elected map stuff. Anyway, what I did notice, and this came as news to me, even though I report on the Liverpool City Meeting Combined Authority, is that Nosy Council has set up a website for the Liverpool City Meeting Combined Authority, and they're currently running a consultation on the things that make up the devolution deal. Now, firstly, before the Liverpool City Meeting Combined Authority was set up, politician quite categorically said, I'm not going to name the politician here, but I'm sure I could, people can uh, find this out, and I'll probably find it out when I write this up on my blog. They said the Liverpool City Meeting Combined Authority won't cost any more money than the existing arrangements. Now, registering a website, having a website hosted, dealing with all the stuff to do with the website, does cost money. Okay, the politicians will probably turn around and say, well, uh, this is from an existing budget or something, but it costs money. It costs money that can't be spent on something else. So anyway, I will, <coughs> when I write this up on the blog, with a transcript include a link, because, to be honest, it was news to me. It hasn't been in the report to the Security Command Authority. And as far as I'm concerned, the only mention online about it is from Nosley, whereas the Liverpool Security Command Authority uh, is all, all the councils in Merseyside, plus, I think, Holt at and really speaking, he's only just consult with the people and knows he should be consulted with everybody. So that's a few things that I'll be doing. Uh, let's see, uh, today the weather's cold, hence the jumper. And when I was looking into um, market research as to what people want from a blog, well, one of the things that came up was weather forecasts. Now you'll be glad to know that unless there's a big demand, I'm not going to start up with a map behind me and little symbols of clouds and sunshine and wind and all that because I really don't fancy being a weather forecaster probably because people would love turning around and saying well you said it would be uh, sunny today John and it's raining I prefer not to get things wrong but anyway uh, if you really do want weather forecasts we're, there's the Met Office website for that so that's a summary of what I'm up to this week there are hardly any public meetings because of the half term holidays and then of course there's Halloween at the weekend 
One of the things that's coming up, of course, is also Bonfire Night and the Merseyside Fire Rescue Service. Okay, I'm sure people are probably sick of me talking about Merseyside Fire Rescue Service. Merseyside Fire Rescue Service are running, in conjunction, I think, with World Council, trying to clear up the, say, for instance, the bits of wood and stuff like that that people put together for bonfires because Merseyside Fire Rescue Service probably really don't want to be going round putting out a lot of small fires on bonfire night. I mean, they're not being killed or anything, there are council organised uh, fireworks displays and things like that, so people can go along. Uh, I'm sure there'll be one in Birkenhead Park this year and people can make the usual jokes about taxpayers' money going up in smoke, that kind of thing. But anyway, so that's what I'll be doing today. I decided to keep it short because typing up these transcripts takes a while, but if there's anything you want to leave a comment on or anything you think I should write about, then please get in touch. Okay, thanks for listening.